Amen. Amen. Everybody say, preach to me, sing to me, minister to me in Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And everybody shout, praise God. Well, it's exciting to be here. <laughs> We're having church. Yes. We're looking at you today and say, we're having church. Yes. It ain't over yet. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Just starting. Yes. Getting warmed up around here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. It's good to see everybody. Be sure to pray for your pastor. Man, he done got sick on us. I knew I could stay too long. Look at your neighbor and say, it not be a good night for you to get the Holy Ghost. You know, I like what Pastor Ratley said this morning. Revival ain't over with. Revival don't come from the evangelist anyway. It comes from you folks. Hey Amen. It's going to be something different tonight. Yeah. Oh, but we're going to have church. Look at your neighbor and say, we're already having church. Lift your hands and love it.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Well, ever since I made a statement this morning about what's going to happen tonight, uh, <clears throat> I've started coughing. Nose started running. My head hurts. My body hurts. I think my wife beat me today. Amen. <laughs> We're going to have church. We can sing and run and jump, and that's beautiful. It's the Word of God that gives us a victory. Amen. And, uh, uh, and that's what's fixing to happen here just in a second. So if you have your Bibles, you understand. We're going to read the Word. Preachers, y'all ready? And he got one amen. 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 We're going to read this script. We're going to read. I'm going to shut my Bible and lay it down there. And these preachers are going to come forward. And we're fixing to have some Holy Ghost time. The Lord. Amen. amen. Oh. <laughs> hey, look, let me tell you this right here. The Bible says, y'all believe what the Bible says? Amen. The, the Bible says be instant. Instant, in season and out. We've got to be ready at a drop of the hat. <laughs> I love it, man. I did this one time. And then preachers come up to me when I got them up there. They walked by me and they said, you know, for me to preach, I have to have two weeks to study. And I looked at him, I said, you're not getting tagged tonight because you ain't studying. Actually, you ain't even read your Bible. <laughs> oh, come on, somebody. We ought to read that Bible every day. Hey, Amen. That's just me. I guess I'm too blunt. I guess. I don't know. We need somebody to get baptized tonight. In the name of Jesus, just to make that devil mad. Are you coughing too? Oh, my God. All right, let's read. If you have your Bibles, let's go to Acts chapter 2. Is this exciting? Acts chapter 2, verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord, one place. I like that. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Wow. And there, and, and there appeared unto them clothed in tongues like as a fire, and they set up on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them the utterance. Wow. This is the first ones ever got it. First ones. This is the very first ones that ever got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Everybody say, Lord bless your word. You may be seated. And here we go. Now, guys, you don't have to stay with Acts chapter 2. You can <coughs> jump from Genesis to Revelation. Whatever hits you, go for it. I'm going to preach about five minutes here, and then I'll start tagging. Amen. So y'all come on up here. Get in line. Set somewhere. Get ready to get ready to go. You got a mic? Is that the only cordless mic we got? You got one on you, don't you? Yeah. I can. You got one? Hey, yeah. sound man, kick him in here. I'm in. I'm you in? in? Yeah. Good. You good enough on that? Yeah. Kick it. Put your mic up there. Praise the Lord. Whoa, here. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. My God. I ain't tagging nobody tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, we're having church. Amen. We're having church. We're having church. 
in the spite of everything that's going on around about us. We've got a right to tap into the power of the Holy Ghost. We got a right to clap our hands. We've got a right to shout unto God with a voice of triumph. We've got a right to honor him. On the day of Pentecost here, nobody had the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. I said none of them in the upper room had the Holy Ghost. They're going up there for one thing, to get an experience that they never had before. He said, I'm gonna give you something that you can overcome the things of the world. I'm gonna give you power. And when you speak it in the name of Jesus, every demon from hell has got to back up. I don't know about you, but on that day of Pentecost, 120 people says, I can shout. I got a God that lives inside of me. I can worship a king. Oh, come on. I'm talking about a God that is able to reach down and touch the hearts of humanity and tell that individual, you got the power. You got the joy. You got the love. Amen. 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 And this promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Amen. This Holy Ghost experience is something that God is wanting to do in your life tonight. Amen. If you will open up and you allow God to move in your life, amen, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And everybody said amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus says, if anyone thirst, come to me and I will fill you in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be scared of the Holy Spirit. Come on and get the spirit, get the water, get the yes. spirit in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the spirit yes. flow in you. Yes. Let the spirit lead you. Let the spirit have his victory. Let us, for the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Hallelujah. Yes. We call upon the name of the Lord. Because we believe in the name of the Lord. Because we know in the name of the Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. we ask it all. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Without a vision, people perish. And it's important that we get on, a, on, on, on board yes. with the pastor's Hallelujah. vision. If we want apostolic revival right here in Belton, yes. Texas, Hallelujah. you know, they had apostolic revival right there in, in Pentecost, yes. on Amen. the day of Pentecost. Then they had it in Azusa Street in Los yes. Angeles, California. Yes. Then they had it in Topeka, Kansas. And that time, yes. why can't it not be Belton, Texas? Yes. Belton, Texas can yes. change the world. Belton, yes. Texas can go down in history as having our third, Hallelujah. our third Pentecostal yes. experience, Hallelujah. our fourth. Hallelujah. You know what? The reason Hallelujah. why we got to get one accord and yes. one mind. That means one purpose and unified with one yes. mission, and that's yes. the mission of the pastor to get behind him, one hundred percent. The day of Pentecost can happen here. Amen. Yes. Oh, this was the first time uh, that anybody has ever danced in the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, when they was filled, come on, somebody. Uh, and they spoke with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them the utterance. Uh, that was the first time humanity began to dance. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not just shaking his hands, uh, but I'm dancing with a God that lives inside of me. I'm telling you tonight, uh, if they can do it then, uh, we ought to be able to do it now. He's the same yesterday, today. And forever, he's a God that would never change. Amen. Amen. He said, I am the Lord and I change not. Amen. It doesn't matter what you face in your life and what circumstances may, may change in your life. Amen. We serve a God that does not change. Amen. He does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the one. Amen. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. He is the one that can do something great in your life tonight. Amen. As you open up to him, amen, you will find God do something great and wonderful in your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for the Lord because the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. Yes. David says, Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because he was hearing the voice of God. He knew the voice of God. And when you obey the voice of God, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon everyone that obeys the word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. We are his saints. Yes. And yes, we are hallelujah, the Jesus. Of God. We are yes, called the hallelujah. sons of the living God. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah so Jesus. Obey the word. Hallelujah. Hear the word. Yes, hallelujah. Get filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, in the name of hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> 
You know, Jesus gave me a right. He gave me a right to praise the Lord. Yes. He gave me the Holy Spirit so I don't have yes. to be quiet. On, you know, right. people are raising all kinds of crazy stuff Hallelujah. over a football Jesus. game, a basketball game, Hallelujah. whatever it is. Hallelujah. They'll run the aisles. They'll Hallelujah. jump up and down. Jesus. They'll paint Hallelujah. themselves up. They'll yes. wait out in snow with nothing, no gear on, no clothes on Hallelujah. and all. Just wait yes. for the football to be kicked off. They'll come worship on. their little pigskin. Amen. But you know what? But when I come to church and when I worship, you know what? I have my Pentecost and Holy Spirit. People say, you know what? We can't be doing that. You know what? Amen. You guys are way yes. too loud. You guys are way too excited. You know what? They can get excited over their yes. God, their little pigskin. You know what? Yes. I can get excited too. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, hey, Mary! Mary, what are you doing? You're dancing. You're getting your feet up off the floor. And Mary, you brought forth the Messiah. What are you doing? You don't understand. For nine months, I carried him in my room. And I had to give birth to him. And everybody else around. Come on, somebody. Hey, begin to say, but tonight, but tonight, I can keep him inside of me from this forward door. He ain't coming out. He's going to resurrect me. He's going to give me back. God, somebody, you ought to shout because of a God that lives down in your heart. He's not going to leave you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As Jesus was coming into uh, Jerusalem uh, on that great triumphal entry uh, and the people began to wave palm branches uh, and begin to say Hosanna to him in the highest uh, p uh, glory to the Lord. Amen. And as they began to worship, uh, amen, those around began to say, oh, tell them to be quiet. Uh, amen. Tell them to be quiet. They're getting uh, a little radical here. Uh, amen. And, amen. And, and Jesus said that if these should hold their peace, uh, that very rocks are going to cry out. Amen. I think we need to give God a shout of praise tonight. Amen. Because he is doing something great in this place. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Genesis, when Genesis created Adam, Adam was laying there in dust and God said, let there be breath in this man. And God blew breath into the man. God said, give him life, hallelujah. And that's the way we need to be. Sometimes we lay down all day long and we don't have nothing. But when we receive the Holy Ghost, we have everything. It's the power of the Holy Ghost that leads us and guides us into all truth, into all righteousness, in the name of Jesus. So whenever you call upon the name of the Lord, believe that you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Scripture says that you shall receive power if the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Scripture also says these signs shall follow them that believe. Them that believe. Them that believe. And these signs. We have Pentecost. There are real things happening because we believe. We have faith. You know, Jesus said that we, when we have power, we can change lives. And when Jesus gets inside of us and the Holy Spirit, you know, you know why, why can't we get excited about that? Why can't I get excited that my soul, Jesus went into the hell for me. He suffered my hell. He suffered my punishment. He went into hell and he, he snatched the keys of death and hell. He invaded hell like a Roman general, like a commanding general. He invaded that hell and he took the death keys of death, hell, and the grave. And he said, you know what? Now I can live. Glory to God, my God is a living God, my God can do all things in Jesus' name, hallelujah, right now we walk in the presence of the Holy Spirit, God said I got to go so the comforter can come down, and we, we don't have the comforter, we don't have anything, but we, whenever we, whenever we, whenever we, we, whenever we do the right thing, the comforter wants Jesus to get the glory. Hallelujah. So let us all walk in the spirit in one unit, in one mind, in one accord, in Jesus' mighty name, so that we can all be filled with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is our Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He must be our first. He must be our last. You know, Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit to so give us power to live for him. You know what? And when we don't, that's, that, that's, you, that's almost like insubordination. That is insubordination. So that gives us power. When we we got to pray to give us this power over the enemy, to give us power over all of our situations. I have a right to love my king. Gave me power of the Holy Ghost. Now we're witnesses. We are supposed to be lights. He said, if you lift me up, I'll, I'll draw all men unto myself. We are lights. You don't have to ask a bug to fly to a light. You don't have to beg that bug to go to a light. You don't have to beg people to look at a light. All you got to do is turn a light on, and guess what? Everybody looks at it. You know what? Jesus says you are the light of the world. All you got to do is turn the light on, and people will look at you. 
All you got to do is turn the light on. People look at you. That happens through prayer and fasting and faith and loving Jesus and walking in the Spirit, walking in the light while we have the light. Turn the light on, and you don't have to worry about the, the anointing will draw them. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah, the Lord, the Holy Spirit came to Jeremiah and told him, go to the house of the potter. And go to the house of the potter in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And there you're going to hear my voice. And Jeremiah went to the house of the potter. And there he seen the potter fixing the clay, making the clay. And the clay didn't look good to the potter. And Jesus took the clay, Hallelujah. broke it, shaped it, and molded it again and put it in a new vessel. That's the way we need to be. We need to come to the house of the God. God, so God can shape us and mold us and, and, and let us have let us be what he wants us to be it ain't about us, it's about him we need to obey, we need to be real with him in the name of Jesus there you will hear the, the voice of God so when the pastor's up there preaching the word listen to the word let the word penetrate in the heart in your heart that the Holy Spirit may have his way in Jesus mighty name hallelujah, praise God you know, people might be new to this. People come in and say, why are these people like this? Why are they so loud? They may come from other churches. You can hear a feather fall through the, pit and through the air. You know what? You know what? When you're released from something, when you see somebody out in the world and they're released from something, you know they get excited. When they see something happen, they get excited. You know, why can't I get excited? You know, the scripture says, Hallelujah. shout, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. You know, three times, three times in scripture, it is recorded that every time they shouted, Every time they shouted, their victory was won Hallelujah. by the shout. Okay, you know, the, the victory wasn't won by the shout. You know, the shout was the, was, the, it was the weapon that brought the walls down. But the fear, the fear, the fear of the Lord went before them. And their shout, all that shout was, was to, bring, to, to reverberate and attack hell. That's our long wage weapon system. You know, we have a way to, 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 to attack hell. There's a word we can use. There's one word. We can use to attack hell in our life. And it makes hell tremble because it's one word that they're afraid of. One word. And one word. And that name is Jesus. That word name is Jesus. Somebody praise him. Somebody give him honor. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him thanks. Somebody tell him you love him. I believe that upper room experience was a Holy Ghost outpouring Shekinah kind of glory of God like we have never seen before on the day of Pentecost, honey. It's just as powerful today as it was on the day of Pentecost. I come tonight to tell somebody if they can shout in that upper room, we ought to be able to shout tonight. If they can dance in that upper room, we ought to be able to dance tonight. It's the same God. It's the same creator. It's the same healer. It's the same deliverer. Amen. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Amen. We have got power through the Holy Ghost. Amen. He said, I will baptize you with Holy Ghost and power. Amen. And he wants to put that power inside of your life tonight. Amen. As you respond to him, his power will work through you. This is that. Go, I done tagged you. Just talking about the prophet Joel. Come on. In the last days, yeah. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall dream dreams. Amen. Come on, somebody. God is pouring out that end time revival. Amen. Right now. In that upper room. And I know Peter's going to preach the first message. But I believe if this was Peter sitting right here. <laughs> and the Holy Ghost fell. I believe his feet started patting. <laughs> his hands started shaking. And maybe somebody looked at him and said, What's wrong with you? I don't know. But it's my God shaking the body of humanity. Telling me, You got a right to come up. You got a right to shout. You got a right to worship. Amen. You don't have to be down anymore. You don't have to allow uh, the chains of this world to hold you down. Uh, amen. But God has given us freedom uh, and liberty in the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. He said where the Spirit of the Lord is, uh, there's liberty. Uh, amen. And God wants to bring some liberty in your life tonight. But these are not drunken as you suppose. Uh, see, it is but the third hour of the day. Uh, but this is that uh, that was spoken by the prophet Joel in the last day. Honey, if he can pour it out here to he can pour it out now. He's waiting on somebody said, I'm going to shout. I'm 
I'm going to worship until the glory comes out. Amen. I'm going to worship. I'm going to praise. Amen. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to let anything hold me down. But I'm going to worship Jesus. I'm going to praise him because he has given me something that this world could not give me. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Here we go. Hang me back. Hang me back. It's your turn. It's your turn. Oh, it's your turn. It's your turn. Oh, wait, no, no. It's your turn. Honey, you don't need to wait on your body. You need to come out. You need to get out of your pews. The Holy Ghost. Yes. Come on, church. My God. This is it. It's real. It's the anointing. Amen. God's not getting it, giving us anything counterfeit. Amen. The world has plenty of counterfeit. Amen. The devil has plenty of counterfeit. But what God is wanting to give you tonight is real. Amen. It is very real. And it will change your life. It will change you. It will mold you. It will give you peace. It will give you joy. But I'm not moving until somebody else does it. I'm not clapping until Brother Demon claps his hand. I'm not jumping until somebody else jumps. I'm not running until somebody else does it. Free on everybody else. Nobody gave me the Holy Ghost. But the God of... Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's worship Jesus tonight. Amen. Let's worship Jesus. Amen. He's He is in the place. Amen. He is wanting to change lives. Amen. If you came in this place without the Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus is here to fill you full of the Holy Ghost and fire. Woo! Here's how it goes. Here's how it goes. Everybody say, here's how it goes. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Watch this here. I'm, when we tag, you got to preach. Tag me. Uh, it's your turn, buddy. I'm leaving. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night, uh, and he said, Rabbi, I know that you're a teacher of God. Yeah. Uh, for no man can do the miracles that you do except God be with him. Uh, and Jesus cut to the chase, uh, and he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh, you must be born again. Uh, amen. Not of just a flesh, uh, but there must be a spirit baptism. Hey, Peter. Why are you acting the way you're acting? I don't know. You didn't act like this when Jesus walked here. You followed right behind him. Yeah, but Mary, but Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Bartholomew, whoever else was up there, he wasn't inside of me then. But now, it's that God that opened blinded eyes. He was inside of me. He gave me something to, my God, somebody. He gives me something to shout about. He's my creator. Amen. He is my healer. Amen. He is my protector, my provider. He is my the, the great I am. He is the one that can answer the problems in my life. He is the answer to what I need. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this. Stand right there behind that mic. Come here. Stand right there behind that mic. Don't leave. Come here. Don't leave. Stand right there behind here. You look sweaty. <laughs> Get behind that mic. Pick that mic up. up. There you go. Can you say something in it? Say praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Say something. Praise Stop. the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. In one mind and one accord. Hello. Hallelujah. For Hallelujah. the next for the next approximately 10 seconds. You fixing to hear some racket that you probably ain't never heard before in your life. Hello, somebody. Come on, come on. But it ain't gonna happen until I tag him. I'm gonna preach for a little bit and then I'm gonna tag him. I'm gonna continue to preach and you're gonna preach right with me. And then you're gonna mind you preaching, don't quit. Tag him. Amen. And he's gonna preach while we're all three preaching. Hello, somebody. And then I'm gonna wait up here a few seconds and I'm gonna tag him. 
You know why? Because it wasn't just one in that upper room. It wasn't just one. Hello, that was shouting unto God. It wasn't just one had their hands lifted up, but it was all of them, 120, and had their hands raised up. It was 120 preacher that had their hands raised up. It was everybody saying, I'm not worrying about you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't worried about you. Oh, but I've come tonight to honor this great God, this healer, this divine. Amen. I've come tonight to honor the King of Kings. There was so much Then Peter said unto them, Repent uh, and be baptized, every one of you, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, for the remission of your sins, uh, and you shall uh, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Preacher, you slam crazy. You offer your rocker. We didn't understand anything of what you four guys are saying up there at the same time. You might not, but hell got it. Hello. Hell got it. Listen to this right here. When the devil thought he could jump on me, stop me from preaching, I tagged him. And when the devil thought he could stop him, he tagged him. And when the devil thought he could stop him, he tagged him. And when he thought he could stop him, he tagged me. And you know what? That's the way you need to be with the saints of God. I got a God. You want to tag somebody next to you and say this is a God of creation. He can do it. He's got to have everybody in one mind and one accord. You can't wait on your sister. You can't wait on your brother. You can't wait on your mama. You can't wait on your dad. You can't wait on your pastor. You gotta wait up on the Lord. The day that wait up on the Lord shall renew the strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. We gotta get in one mind and one accord. Run for her. Run for her. I feel the Holy Ghost. Brandon, run. Get out of here and run. Yeah. Matthew! You all, you was a collector. You collecting money. What are you doing? I don't know. My body's shaking. Well, you didn't get that happy when you were collecting money. When people gave you all the money that they had, you just sat there with a frown on your face. I believe Matthew probably spoke up and said, Oh, but I got something money came by. I got something that's joy, unspeakable, full of glory. I got a God that spoke my name, and I followed him. Yeah. This is ringing. Turn down a bit. What a God. Can I pray for you? Come here. We're crazy. We got a plug in that says 440. We're fixing to zap you. No, we're not. No, we're not. That was just wrong, wasn't it? We're going to pray for her. That God will just bless her. Hello? That God will do something in her life that she's been praying for. God. Come on. Let's pray for her. Jesus. Now watch this here. While she's worshiping God, watch this. When they was in one mind and one accord, 
The Bible said that the Holy Ghost fell upon them where they were sitting. And tonight, the, in between every pew, and touched everybody. And this lady, sister here, needs a touch from the Lord. And the anointing's in the house. Pastor Ratley, pray for her. And we're fixing to pray for her. And the Holy Ghost. My, 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 my. <laughs> Do it, God. You blessed her last week. Kept your hand up on her children. Oh, my God. Oh, from the top of her head and down to the soles of her feet. Let there be a move of the Shekinah glory of God that she's never felt before. Touch her. Strengthen her. In the name of Jesus, he that believeth as a scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on, Pentecostals. Come on. God's in the house tonight. God's in the house tonight. The healer is in the house tonight. The deliverer is in the house tonight. On the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there was one mind and one accord. And tonight we're here tonight in one mind and one accord. We're here tonight to honor the great I am, the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father. If you're sick in your body, there's a healer here. You need victory? There's one here tonight that can give you victory. You need joy? There's one here tonight that can give you joy. You need an answer? The answer is here tonight. All you got to do is reach out and say, Lord, whatever my answer is, I'm going to accept it. If it's not what I want, but what you want, God, what you want to give me, I'm here tonight to accept what you're willing to give me, God. It's raining. It's raining. Holy Spirit, rain. Come on, sis. Come on, that's what you're feeling right now. He's raining on you right now.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, amen. I believe that we can say that we have been visited by the Lord. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're so honored to have our guests. Amen. Tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We need to remember, keep Pastor and Sister Alephin in our prayers. Amen. Amen. That God puts a hedge about them. Amen. Amen. And all those that have been, uh, that come down with the flu or the sickness, amen. We just need to rebuke it and pray against it in Jesus' name. Amen. We have power through the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I want the Holy Ghost and I want more of it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Let's. Amen. As, as we close in dismissal, let's pray for Robert. Amen. That God would, God would work in his life. Amen. Can we stand tonight? <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, God, you have been so great. Lord, you have been so awesome, oh God. Jesus, Lord God, your presence is so strong in this place. But God, I know that your presence isn't just going to stay in this physical building, but God, it goes with us. God, as we go our separate ways, God, Lord, we pray for Robert tonight. God, we pray for you to work in this life, God. You know what needs to be done. God, we pray for your spirit to move and work in his life and help him, God. Lord Jesus, almighty God, Lord Jesus, I pray for your people tonight. God, help us, Lord Jesus, to, Lord, take the experiences and the word that we have heard, God, these past two weeks, God. And, and God, let's, Lord, let's grow and let's become active in you, Lord, and not become stale, but allow your spirit to continue to revive us, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you for your presence uh, and we thank you for your spirit, God. Lord Jesus, God, we pray for the Griggs family, God. God, as, as they travel and as they preach your word, I pray for your blessings, God, to be upon them, O oh God. And God, anoint them, God, even greater, Lord, Lord, than they have ever experienced in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God.